I'm extremely delighted and honored to have the presence here of Honorable Union Minister Sri Bhupender Yadavji. His constant guidance and association with the foundation and with our intellectual and research quest has always been a source of strength. And being the principal lieutenant of realizing Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's environmental vision, I think it augurs well and it's a, it's a resounding start to the new year to have the release of this volume in his presence and by him. I think it makes our effort, we have the distinguished editors uh, sitting here on the dais with him. We have an eminent gathering here, Vice Chancellor of JNU, Professor Shantishri Panditji is here and many other former Ambassador Dinkar Srivastavji who is also a contributor to this volume and many other eminent friends are here. I think this gathering is extremely significant and symbolic, therefore. I just wanted to say a few words in terms of introducing the theme which Dr. Sinha has eminently and ably done. But I think in the last few years and especially under the rubric of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji's environmental vision and energy vision, Honorable Union Minister Bhupenji has worked to actualize that at the international as well as the national level. And India, and India has emerged, and India has emerged as a climate leader under Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. And not only in terms of present meeting present exigencies, but what Prime Minister Modi has offered is a very concrete, pragmatic roadmap for environmental conservation coexistence and together globally being able to meet the challenges which are going to be some of the fundamental challenges of the 21st century. I would like to point out here, flag here what Dr. Sinha has flagged and it's there in the chapter of, it's there in Bhupenji's chapter. He talks about Panchamrit, the vision of Panchamrit. We had a vision of Panchamrit given by the Prime Minister in terms of foreign policy. Now we have a vision of Panchamrit given by Prime Minister and articulated by Honorable Union Minister in terms of environment, conservation and energy. And in that Panchamrit rubric is how India is going forward. Friends, this volume is extremely, is very interesting. And it brings out the entire gamut of energy, environment and conservation. It was the UN, UN Environment Program in 2018 that recognized PM Modi for his bold environmental leadership in global stage. And in COP26 in Glasgow, Prime Minister articulated what essentially India's environmental activism and vision stands for when he said that I come, I came with a concern for the humanity. I come as a representative of a culture that gave the message of Sarve Sukhina, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, which means happiness for all. And so for me, the event in Paris at COP26 was not a summit, it was a sentiment and a commitment. And India was not making those promises to the world, but 125 crore Indians were making those promises to themselves. And this is where, at a certain time, he brought in the overarching vision of mission life, where he spoke about being a people that is pro-planet. And as he has done with all his transformative initiatives, he has brought about the dimension of Jan Bhagidari, his philosophy and vision for mission life which has caught the world's attention and which has really brought the world together for the first time perhaps giving it a philosophy for environment conservation that has come out of India, that has evolved from India. He says, mission life can become a mass movement of environmental conscious lifestyle 
and what is needed today is mindful and deliberate utilization instead of mindless and destructive consumption. I think Honorable Union Minister has exactly worked in the last few years in trying to bring about this paradigm shift in action as well as in perception. I thank you so much uh, for being here. This is the first program of 2024, sir. And we are extremely fortunate that we are starting it off with you, uh, with your blessings and with your support. And uh, 2024 augurs extremely well. It will be the unleashing of Bharat in Amritkal. It will be the unleashing of the potentials and of the vision of a Vikasit Bharat developed India by 2020, 2047. And I invite all of you to be actively ambassadors of that vision and articulators of that roadmap and uh, active participants in this journey. Thank you so much. Thank you.